Um, I'm going to go through the Sephora stuff really quickly because I know you guys don't want me to take forever. So, um, I never try the Tarina Tarantino line um, at Sephora, so I thought the packaging was really cute. It's gorgeous. It's very unique. But uh, this is the Spark with Spark Licity Pure Opal. Oh, okay. It's a sparkle powder. And then the name is Spark. Spark. I swear I cannot say that. So you try to say that because I really can't. <laughs> but, um,. They actually had a few of these, which I thought was nice, but I don't have anything, I'm trying not to drop it, anything, um, let me put my camera down, anything purple like this, look at that, so it's like a lavender color with blue, baby blue sparkles in it. Isn't that insane in the membrane? Girl. And I think I used this in one of the tutorials. I'm not sure. Um, probably not. But yeah. And then I got two cream blushes because spring and summer is coming by. Or spring and summer is coming. So I wanted to get two blushes. And you guys know I love me some El Masca. The first one is called Laid. Yeah. Lay it, girl. And you guys probably think I'm joking, right? Like, no, I'm not joking. It is called Laid. <laughs> um, so it's like a flamingo pink color. And it's a cream blush. And then the second one is called Rude. This bitch is so rude. Like, she keep playing with me. She's not taking the shit seriously. Like, she's freaking rude. And it reminds me of my favorite blush, which is um, Exposed by La Masca. And this is a powder blush. It's just a peach color. So this one reminds me of it. And this is in cream form. And then I went across um, to the front area. And I saw a company that I never heard of before. It's called Bite. So I thought this was very interesting. I don't know a lot about the company. But um, this one is called Pomegranate. And I was in search of a red. <coughs> Excuse me. I was in search of a red lipstick. Um, super red fire engine red lipstick. So um, this is the packaging. You can see it looks very professional. It's very nice. Um, it was kind of pricey. I don't remember the price. I know it's so stupid it's kind of pricey but I don't remember the price but I really don't um I'll put like an annotation on the bottom but yeah I got this at Sephora and look at that it's coming off orange on camera but it really isn't it's like super red and the cool thing about this that I didn't know the bottom scrolls up so it's retractable so that is awesome and I promise you it is not orange I know it looks orange in the camera but it is not it is super then this is just some random stuff I got a MAC lipstick and I didn't show you guys this but um this is in matte lipstick and this is in Fresh Amour, which is a beautiful lavender color. I don't have Lavender Whip, which is like super popular and everybody and their mama has one and I don't. So, um, 
and I can't find one that's less than 50 bucks and I am not paying 50 bucks for a stick like are you serious so um this came out with excuse me this came out with one of the recent collections and um it's a lavender or uh yeah it's a lavender the blue undertone and it is gorgeous I absolutely love it so I can't wait to try that too and then just a few things from the drugstore I thought were interesting um, two eyeshadows this is rich Java and this is the metallic baked eyeshadow you can use it dry or wet by Milani and look at that look how gorgeous that color is it just like stood out to me at the store and believe it or not I just went over it like once and you could see how pigmented that is that's awesome and then another one this one is called something that I can't read because I put a sticker on top of it okay this is the runway eyes color in aubergine and it's like a plummy color with all that gorgeous glitter look at that isn't that pretty it has like gold and copper and it is gorgeous and the glitter does come up when you swatch it so I thought that was really nice for um, <sighs> drugstore <laughs> product. The, the Blast Flipstick. And this is a Blendable Lip Duo. <clears throat> and this is called Flashy. And the reason why I got it is I'm not really interested in the other side. Supposedly you're supposed to use like one of the dark colors the one side that's darker you put it all over the lip and then for a highlight in the center of the lip you put the lightest one I'm not really interested in the other side but the reason why I got this one is because it reminds me of swatch it hopefully the camera will catch it but it has um, a duochrome has blue in it and it reminds me of Violetta by MAC which you guys know is my favorite lipstick okay so actually the um, one from the drugstore right here it's a little bit darker but you can see they're very similar and this is Violetta so I wanted to see if that was going to be a dupe and um, I don't know. I like it. I like it. And then two last things are nail polishes. And this is Sephora by OPI. And I thought these would go awesome on top of one another. Like the glitter on top of this one. This one is called I Only Shop Vintage. And then and it's like a taupey A taupey color with like gold glitters in it and then the other one is called traffic stopper copper and I never had a copper glitter before copper glitter nail polish before so I thought that was interesting and gorgeous and it actually reminds me of the um oh how interesting it reminds me of the um the Inglot in number 86. So that is going to be cool using it together. So I don't know if I'm going to keep these or give them away. I'm not sure yet. They're still closed. So um, we'll see. 
so that is going to be my haul um i really hope you guys enjoy that and i'm so happy to be back and um i want to thank all my new subscribers i've been getting like at least five subs five to ten subscribers um a week which is like insane to me it seriously it is insane to me um may not be much to a lot of people but it is to me um and i sincerely am super thankful for every single one of you and especially the ones that have been around and been waiting for me to make tutorials and are so supportive on Facebook and again I'm always on Facebook I know I keep talking about Facebook on here but I am always on Facebook no matter what so um, yeah so I really hope that you guys enjoy that uh, like I said in the beginning if you want to see a tutorial for this look you can click on the link that I put actually in the top or you can check out the bottom bar for all the product names and all that good stuff. So I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have an awesome spring and I'll see you guys soon.